everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just got home from work and I thought we could do a really quick Disney Store unboxing. I know two Disney Store unboxings in a row. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it's just kind of how it worked out. Quite a while back, maybe like five months ago before the move, Haku got a hold of my precious wallet. I bought this wallet specifically um, to go to Japan because their money is a little bit different size than ours and he just destroyed it, so I've been needing a new one. And since I had that free shipping code from my masks unboxing, I thought now would just be the perfect time to get this Disney wallet that I've had my eye on for a while. I was kind of hesitant to buy it just because I haven't seen any reviews or pictures of it um, anywhere else online, so I thought I could show you today uh, to let you know about this wallet because it's super cute, and we'll see how the quality is. This is the box they sent it in, which um, to me feels a little excessive, but um, maybe they just didn't have any of their smaller mailers in stock. Um, but it should be just a touch bigger than the wallet that I just showed you. Um, this one is supposed to be like a wristlet all-in-one type of deal that has a crossbody strap as well. First and foremost, we just have some packing material, and then my absolute favorite, the official Disney tissue paper. I actually saved this last year and wrapped my sister's birthday present in it, and it was a hit. Then we have the wallet itself, so it was just this in uh, that box, which is totally fine. I'll recycle the box, so it's no worries. Um, I don't think I mentioned yet that I paid about $28 for this. I, of course, used my free shipping, but then I used um, another discount to get 10% off, um, which I thought was a pretty good deal, especially for a licensed um, piece of Disney merchandise. It has a bunch of cute icons from around the park. I specifically really like this one and of course the castle um, that's peeking out on the corner. And the print, um, you know, it's a toss print. So every cut of fabric is different. Every wall is a little bit different. Um, but I'm happy with the one that I got. So it opens up and inside there's spots for ID cards. There's a roomy, um, two roomy compartments here. I have an iPhone 5, so my phone's kind of small. I'm really hoping it'll fit in there with all of my money and everything. I actually have it right here, and it does fit absolutely perfectly. Um, but if your phone was much bigger than the iPhone 5, um, I do think you would have a hard time getting it to, um, to fit in there so nicely. Um, so... Beware, if you've ever upgraded your phone since like 2012, it might not fit. Then there are two straps. There's this long adjustable crossbody strap, which is probably the one I'll use the most. And then there's a little wrist strap. And both of them can be um, unclipped if you don't want to use either of them. Overall, I feel very happy with this purchase. It does feel to be okay quality. It's like a nylon um, surface. I thought it was going to be like a leatherette or a polyurethane. Um, but that's okay. This feels like it would be very easy to clean, so I'm hoping that's the case. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick unboxing of this Disney Park wristlet. Let me know in the comments below if you have this wristlet or what wristlet you would like to take with you when you go to the Disney parks. I think this will be perfect for my next Disney vacation, which unfortunately won't be for a few more years considering everything that's going on in the world, um, but I'm still very happy to have this. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos about Disney or my travels. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All links will be in the description box below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.